Very strong words indeed. Interesting thoughts there by the Senate President Bukola Saraki and uh, Speaker Yakubu Dogara. Well, two gentlemen are here with me in the studio to talk some more about President Buhari's anti-corruption war and also translate or get some sense out of those words by the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the Senate President, the Executive Director of Socioeconomic and Accountability Rights Project, Adeto Kumbo Mumuni. And uh, another legal practitioner, Diti Ogunye, joins us on the program. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Okay. Well, let me start right away with you, Mr. Mumuni. President Buhari's anti-corruption fight has come under the spotlight a great deal, but this time from within his own me party members, <coughs> principal members of his government. What do you make of this? Let me just, um, it's a pleasure being here again. Let me just say straight away that um, that the two gentlemen heading the heading one branch of government, which will be a collegiate government, expressing such disparaging disparaging remark about the anti-corruption war is no surprise. Uh, it is to 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 to, to say the fact that. Um, the APC government of the various types of government, they are not on the same page about this war. And then the, the, the Senate President and the Speaker of the House of Representatives are entitled to their own opinion. But in my own considered opinion, I believe that the war is on track. The presidency is doing all within its past to ensure that the war succeeds. What is expected of the legislative arm of government led by the two people that have spoken is for them to play their own part honestly and sincerely to see that the war uh, succeeds but if they have chosen to distance themselves by their statement and by their initial action that is left for them mr gunye would you describe this as uh, the two lawmakers distancing themselves Senator, uh, Speaker Dogara said institutions need to be strengthened. I, I, I mean, I've read beyond the screaming headlines. I, I've read the reports um, of that event and the statements that were made by these two um, heads of uh, the federal legislature. And my view is that Likely, and in substance, their criticisms are fair in the circumstances. Um, I, 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 I read what the Senate President was quoted to have said, and it's what every knowledgeable person uh, could have said about uh, the fight um, against corruption, the anti-corruption uh, anti war. Um, Nigerians we have problem with the person saying it, but uh, and they, they have the right to have that kind of problem. But um, given what I've read, it's not said something that has not been said before. It's talked about um, showmanship. It's talked about uh, a facade investigation. It's talked about lack of peace, thinking, work. These are things that Nigerians say, but in spite of that, uh, those criticisms are constructive. They don't say this in order to kill the anti-corruption war. They say this in order to grow the war and have the war intensified. Um, but, you know, given the forum and the persons who are saying, you know, I, I guess that that's where we have this problem. And why do I say this? The Senate President is still facing charges at the Code of Conduct Tribunal. The Speaker of the House of Representatives has just emerged from uh, uh, a budget padding uh, allegation uh, that led to the choving out of the House of Representatives, uh, Honorable Jibrin. Um, the person whose book was being launched has just emerged from a certificate uh, forgery scandal, you know, 
uh, the person who also made a strong showing and presence there, the first lady, is still in court badly to receive $50 million that he, she said was his. So uh, when you take all this together, you then get a sense that you, you get a gathering of those who are angry at the anti-corruption war. But I've looked beyond their personalities. I've focused on what they've said, and I'm of the uh, view that some of those criticisms are, 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 they are legitimate. So what we need to do uh, is to look at those criticisms and then see how we can strengthen the Don't forget, uh, there was a time the president of the country said that the judiciary was his headache. And everybody was pummeling the president that he ought not to have said that. I held a contrary opinion because I felt that, yes, if the judiciary was his headache, he had the right to say that. And subsequent events then showed that at least the judiciary uh, was giving not only the president a headache, but many Nigerians a headache. That doesn't mean that the judiciary is not doing its work, but uh, people have the right to express uh, okay, Mr. Opinions. Mumani, let's uh, go back to the Senate President's specific words. He says, I reiterate, therefore, that we must review our approaches in favor of building systems. That makes it a lot more difficult to, that makes it a lot more difficult to carry out corrupt acts and to find a safe haven for corruption proceeds within our borders. Would you generally <coughs> throw away the baby with the ba bath water? I, I, I believe that, um, like, um my learned friend said, what the Senate president is saying now is not so different from what a lot of other Nigerians have said. They said institutions have to be built because it is in building institutions that um, we can make things work properly. Okay, but that also brings to light the state of our institutions because yeah. when we have principal officers in the Buhari government come and um, emphasize the need for strengthening institutions, what then, what direction should government be looking at to make this fight appear more legitimate? Because there seem to be certain question marks hanging here and uh, there. Uh, what, what I see is that um, legitimate constructive criticism of the approach to fighting corruption must be taken to mind so that that aspect of the criticism will be taken and be uh, strengthened. In terms of the financial discussion, but uh, like uh, my line friend said, you cannot ask a principal officer of government at a book launch where the people that were present are people uh, still having a lot of issues to settle with the judiciary in terms of fighting against corruption, be making that statement as the head of a principal arm of government. That would not be fair to the because the government is supposed to be working. On the, on the tripod, the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature. And once we see that uh, one of the tripod as by its head is not taking the matter as serious as the executive, we we'll start wondering what the hell we are talking okay. about. We'll, we'll, we'll take a moment now, and when we come back, we'll continue the conversation. Join us again.